I don't remember much about the locker room except I remember finding the quietest spot. And then Frank Ramis, our media director, said, Joe, the, the guys, the news guys, want to talk to you. <laughs> so what do you mean, no? <laughs> Come on. They want to talk about the game, you know? And, nah, they didn't pick us. They didn't like us. They didn't give us a chance. I'm not going to talk to them. <laughs> I was doing one of those numbers. I don't know about that, I know it's a hell of a loss, but those folks can take it the other way. embarrassing for me to go out to the Pro Bowl after that. And man, did I get the strawberries on me. I'll tell you how bad you let the league down, you did this, you did that. We were the first team to lose to the AFL. I tell you, it was a party in New York for about a month. Everywhere I went, I stayed in New York. I didn't come back home to Philly until about a month after the Super Bowl game was over. People were so happy and so proud of the New York Jets as if they were a part of our team, and they were. Ironically, while the New York Jets never returned to the Super Bowl, the Baltimore Colts did. But other than Jim O'Brien's last second field goal, there was nothing memorable about Super Bowl V. Don Shula was not there. The loss to the Jets hastened his departure to Miami. His NFL record 328 wins eased the pain but never erased the memory of Super Bowl III. You know, that's the game that I still hear a lot about. I don't think you can ever take away the uh, disappointment. That'll always be there. You know, we were favored. Uh, we didn't win the football game. We had a chance to win it. We didn't win. They won. I wish we'd have won that Super Bowl III. <laughs> if, you know, if there's any one regret, because that's the game that's probably talked about more than any other loss that I've been associated with. But Shula's loss was the NFL's game. I think the game certainly legitimized the Super Bowl as uh, a very special event. And so the game finally grew into this great corporate party and national celebration every season. The Super Bowl is more than spectacular. It is, it is our new national pastime, a glorious, a glorious game. I got news for you. We're gonna win the game. I guarantee. 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 Because I heard it all last night. I heard it far away. I had a 60 hour rip on. I never dreamed about Super Bowl III being reflected upon so much by so many, certainly. I didn't even think about leaving a mark or any of that kind of thing. How could I? You know, it's like looking at a crystal ball and saying what it's going to be like. I, I never thought the Triborough Bridge would be more than 25 cents to cross either and, and, until I paid three bucks or something. <laughs> yes, Super Bowl III did change the NFL, but the game should be recognized as an entity unto itself, for it's the ultimate example of why the players and not the prognosticators always have the final say. And it remains a source of inspiration for anybody who's ever been told it couldn't be done. There have been better football games, but Super Bowl III is one of the very few that truly deserve to be called a classic.